Maya from Below Freezing Beauty. It's June, and you can tell because it's Alaska and it's 9 o'clock at night and it's still broad daylight. And it's also wedding season. Now, I just got married last summer. My husband and I are going to celebrate our first anniversary next month. Uh, and about two months after I got married last summer, I started to notice uh, red bumps um, under my wedding and engagement bands that turned into a rash pretty quickly. I had to do a lot of research and spend a lot of time on message boards and watching videos and reading articles to figure out exactly what my problem was, what could be causing it, and how I could fix it. So I want to share a lot of what I learned with you today in case you're having this problem, which as it turns out is very, very common. Lots of people experience it, not just women, men too. Um, and there are a couple of things that can be causing it. There are a couple of ways that you can try to deal with it on your own um, without involving a professional. And there is a point at which, if none of these things work, you may want to involve a medical professional. You can be allergic to one or more of the metals that are in your wedding ring. This is more common with gold wedding rings. Um, pure gold is too soft really to make jewelry out of because it's such a pliable metal. So um, it's usually an alloy. It's combined with some other metals. Um, and it's really common for nickel to be one of those metals. So if you have a gold wedding band um, and you're having an allergic reaction, a red rash, bumps, irritation, all the way around your finger, um, it's entirely possible that you are allergic to nickel. I read somewhere that about 12% of women are allergic to nickel, so it's really, really common to have that allergic reaction to your wedding band, unfortunately. Some people say that you can paint the inside of your ring with nail polish just in the areas where it touches your finger and that puts an, enough of a bond or enough of a uh, protective layer between the ring and your skin to keep your skin from reacting to whatever it is in the ring that you're allergic to. Um, I've also read that you know that it's of course it's nail polish it can wear off you'll have to repaint it from time to time it may not do the trick it doesn't do the trick for everyone but that's one thing that you can try. I was pretty sure I wasn't allergic to my ring um, and I had a couple of reasons for believing this. One is that my wedding band and my engagement ring um, are pretty much exactly the same except that the engagement ring has this solitaire on it and the wedding band is, um, you know, doesn't. Um, but they are both platinum. They are from the same jeweler. They're from the same line. They're set. They go together. And I wore the engagement ring for 16 months before the wedding with absolutely no problems. 16 months, incidentally, is exactly the average amount of time that American couple is engaged before they get married. So I guess we're average. Um, we're... I'm sure we're above average in other ways, or below average. Um, but at any rate, I mean, when I was engaged, I didn't take this ring off for anything. I was petrified of losing it, um, mostly because I was scarred when I was younger by having lost a really, you know, like cheap, you know, factory, probably made by another child, glass stone ring that I thought was beautiful. Um, and I took it off in the restroom, the ladies room at University Cinemas in Anchorage, Alaska to wash my hands when I went to the movies and then forgot to put it back on. And then when I went back, it was gone. So whoever stole my cheap green stone, glass stone ring from the University Cinemas in like 1986, just know that you gave me a complex. So anyway, I didn't take my engagement ring off for anything during those entire 16 months. I maybe took it off three times. Um, I mean, I, I showered in it. I did the dishes in it. I, you know, I put gloves on, but housework, um, the gym, everything. I wore the ring all the time, slept in it, um, did not really take it off at all and never had any problems. So I was pretty sure that I was not allergic to my wedding band because it's you know, basically the exact same, um, it's all the exact same materials as the engagement ring. Also, my uh, wedding band and my engagement band both are um, platinum, and you're a lot less likely to have an allergic reaction to a platinum piece of platinum jewelry than you are to a piece of gold jewelry, um, based on my extensive research. So I was pretty sure that it was not an allergic reaction. So um, that led me to believe that it was the second cause of wedding ring rash, which is contact dermatitis. And that's when your skin gets irritated by some sort of outside stimulus. In this case, um, it is moisture or dirt or lotion or soap or other beauty products or a combination of all those things getting trapped beneath your ring and the skin. 
Um, and the best explanation of this sort of contact dermatitis that I've heard is from um, Dr. Neil Schultz, who has um, on the Derm TV channel here on YouTube, and he has a really great video about um, why people get wedding ring rash. Um, and basically what he says is, listen, if you take a bar of soap and you rub it up and down on your arm day in and day out, day after day after day, eventually you're you're gonna have a rash so you're basically doing the same thing with your wedding ring when you don't dry when you don't keep your finger dry underneath right so it's moisture and soap and things like that that are building up and then rubbing in between your ring and your finger so what he says you need to do is to be really really sure to dry take your ring off take your rings off to wash your hands dry your finger really well before you put them back on my rash started out as just a few bumps and a little bit of redness on my finger. Um, so I thought, I'll ignore it, this will go away. Um, I have in the past from time to time, you know, if I wear a ring for a long time, I'll notice, a, you know, one or two red bumps, but it's always gone away. It's never been a big deal. Um, and so I was, I just said, I, I'm going to ignore this. This is not a big deal. Um, and it didn't go away. And then I just sort of, refused to believe that I was having an, any sort of problem because I loved my rings. I hadn't had any problem with my engagement ring. I was just so brand newly married um, that I, I just couldn't even stand the idea that there could be any sort of problem. I just absolutely refused. So my finger hurt more and it got more inflamed and more red and these are real, you know, these are first world problems like, oh, wow, wow, my diamond ring gives me a rash on my finger. But it was irritating um, and it was uncomfortable. And um, I knew that when I took the ring off, it started to go away a little bit. But I had a really hard time leaving the ring off for long enough um, to let the rash clear up. And that's really the bottom line is what your finger needs is um, if you have this rash, it needs time to air out time to calm down. Um, I recommend um, some cortisone cream. I bought cortisone 10 at Walgreens. Um, there's a, a variety that has instant cooling action. So you put it, you take your rings off, you wash your finger, you put on this cortisone cream. It has this instant chilling sensation. It makes your finger feel a lot better. Um, and then it, you know, reduces the itch, it reduces the redness, but you really do have to leave the rings long enough to let your finger heal and get back to normal. And I spent a long time refusing to do that um, because I was upset. I didn't want to, I didn't want to not have my rings on. And my husband was upset about it too. I think he kept saying things about how I was allergic to our love and you know, whatever. You, you know what? Be sick if you want to be sick. I had just started this new job and I felt weird going in without my rings on, but I also felt weird going in with like this big red rash on my finger. Um, it was pretty gross. It got pretty gross. And then um, somebody suggested to me when it started to like, there were sores that opened up. I'm sorry, it's gross. Um, but I let it go on long enough that like a couple of the sores opened up and it was a little like um, somebody suggested to me, oh, well, now it's a wound and you should put Neosporin on it. Uh, so I put on some Neosporin and I put on a Band-Aid around it and I went to work and about halfway through the day I was like, my hand is killing me. And I took it off and I had this, you know, it had it like erupted. It was super gross. Um, so, you know, I... I just exacerbated my contact dermatitis made it much much worse I was forced at that point to take the rings off and let my finger heal and that was sort of my come to Jesus moment where I said okay <laughs> it's it's time to let your finger breathe for a while so um, I left my rings off for a long time like it was maybe a week or more and used my cortisone cream and kept everything very clean and very dry and now what I do to maintain my happy rash free finger um, is make sure that I continue to keep my finger dry um, so when I wash my hands um, I actually don't take the rings off to wash my hands because I'm paranoid about dropping it down the drain I have, I have ring losing paranoia um, so I'm paranoid about that but then after I've washed my hands I do slide my rings down my finger and dry and then dry on the inside of the rings a little bit and put them back on and then I take my rings off before I go to bed, which I never did before I had the, the wedding ring rash, so I never did with my engagement rings, but it gives my finger a chance to um, sort of cool off and breathe and have its, uh, its chance to 
sort of rejuvenate itself um, over the course of the night. In the course of my reading, I learned that people who have um, channel set rings, like I do, my, um, my setting has channel set diamonds in the band, both the engagement ring and the wedding band. Um, people with channel set rings tend to have um, more problems with contact dermatitis because behind the setting, you see all those little holes? So those um, are actually, you know, they're little holes that go into the band and dirt and lotion and things collect in there and moisture um, and hold that moisture and the dirt and other things against your skin. So you, I was getting irritation just on the top part of my finger, which is where the channel setting, where those little holes are, and was fine back here on the back of my finger where the ring is. As you can see, the ring is solid. So I read a ton of recommendations from women who said, it sounds weird, but I boil my wedding ring. And the first time I read it, I was like, that's ridiculous. I don't know what that would accomplish. And then I read more and more people, post, more and more posts from more and more people who said, I boil my wedding ring and I haven't had a rash problem since. So we have a coffee maker that's coffee maker on one side and then a water heater um, or hot water dispenser like to make tea on the other side. So about once a month, I get a mug and I put, you know, maybe an inch or two of hot water in it from the hot water dispenser. And then I drop my rings in and I leave them there for about 15 minutes and then I dry them off really, really well. And this is the gross part, but I know that I'm getting all the gunk out of the channel setting because I watch it come out when my rings sit in that mug of, uh, of not quite boiling, but very hot water, like little gray sort of strands lugs, tendrils come out of the holes in the channel setting and it's really gross looking um, but also really satisfying because I know that now that gunk is not going to be rubbing on my finger. So the bottom line, if you are having wedding ring rash, first of all, you're not alone. It's a really common problem, um, and there are lots of us out there who have had the same thing. So take your rings off. Give your finger a couple days to recover. Use some cortisone cream. I recommend the cortisone 10 with instant cooling action. And then try to assess what it is about your rings that is giving you this allergic reaction. Now, if you're like me and your engagement ring didn't give you a problem and your wedding band is the same materials and is giving you a problem, it sounds like it's probably contact dermatitis and you can try some of the things that I suggested in this video. Basically, um, keep your ring very clean, keep your finger very clean and dry and give your finger time to recover when it needs it. Um, if you have a rash all the way around and it's a new ring um, and keeping it clean and dry doesn't seem to do the trick, then it sounds like maybe you're allergic to your ring. Um, and you might want to consult with your jeweler or um, get a recommendation for a dermatologist to talk about what your options are. I don't know if there are things that your jeweler can do um, as far as coating the inside of the ring um, to give you with a different material to give you a protective layer, but that might be something that you want to ask your jeweler about. And if you have wedding ring rash or if you've dealt with wedding ring rash and you have some suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are a bride this summer, congratulations. Actually, I guess I'm supposed to say best wishes. Um, have a great time and thanks for watching. there's this whole community of people who boil their wedding rings. Yeah. It's also a little gross, but it works. <laughs> Be sick, but it was... Um, I had to do a lot of research and spend a lot of time in chat rooms and... Chat rooms? What decade is this? Oh.